All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of my Real Oviedo career mode episodes. It's episode 19. Today, we've got some Europa League action. We won the qualifier uh, over two legs last episode, so we're actually in the group stage now. We're going to be playing Aberdeen. We've also got a big game against Real Madrid coming up, so hopefully we can get some wins together. This is make or break. I mean, every episode is make or break now because this is our hardest season. We're you know playing in European competition. We've got more fixtures than ever before. It's not going to be easy, but I've got a good squad now. I bought Oliver Torres last episode. He could be a game changer. Let's see how he gets on. As you can see, our first game is against Aberdeen in the Europa League. Then two days later... We've got Real Madrid, and then three days later, we've got another game. So it's going to be serious fixture congestion. That's going to be the story of our season. So I'm probably not going to be able to play my full team against Aberdeen, because I've got to save someone from the Real Madrid game. Okay, this is the team I'm going to go with. Five at the back. It worked quite well for us last episode, although I'm not using my first choice team. I've got Gomez playing. I've got my backup left back, Henry. I've got Chambers at right wing back. Aguirre, my youngster, who can play right back or centre back, is playing in there. Barrios, Villa and Nori are all not really first choice anymore in the middle three. And then we've got Munir and Rahman up front. So we're resting a lot of people and if we can't beat Aberdeen, we're not going to last long in this tournament, are we? Come on. These like, when they've got Rooney's rubbish brother up front, is that even his brother? He might just have the same surname. I don't know. Good interception from Henry. Here we go. Nori. Just keep the ball. Remember, you've got to keep possession. Yes, Henry with the interception. Henry, look for the through ball. It's not a bad one. Get on it. Get on it. Rahman. Oh, we should have scored, boys. Head that out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Keep running with it, Manir. Keep running with it. Bang. Lovely play. Barrios. Look for the through ball. Jonathan Villa's the last person you want here. Oh, he's just not got the legs for it. I don't like this pressure on the edge of my box, boys. We've got to get rid of this. Oh, my God. I'm going to do some substitutions. I'm going to still use my uh, lesser known players, though. I'm going to bring Caldara on in centre mid for Jonathan Villa. I'm going to bring Bergwin on for Nori. Swap him with Munir. Let's see how they get on. Rahman, inside to Caldara, who's fresh. Caldara, look for that ball in behind. Munir, can we get a last-minute winner? Munir, what are you going to do? Put it across. Munir, oh! Oh, my God. Caldara, here we go. Chance, Rahman, bang. Back for Caldara. Great touch. Hit it. Oh, my God, what a goal that would have been. Uh oh, oh no, 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 what a tackle from Riedewald. There's the final whistle. It's a board draw. You know what, for my first game in Europe, Away from home, on Legendary, I'll take it. Rico Henry, left wing back, who's now a second choice left back, actually had quite a good game, so I might use him there again. Okay, next we've got Real Madrid in a massive league game at home. How are we doing in the league? We've played two games, we've got four points, which is pretty good. But we're in 10th in, in the league right now. Real Madrid have won both their opening games, so hopefully we can get some points off from here. Now I'm going to stick with my five at the back because it's stopping me leaking goals, but new personnel have come in. We've got Alvarez Balanta back in, Nacho's back in, Douglas is back in, the centre mid partnership of Ruben Neves and Sampa are back in, Oliver Torres, the 82 rated Oliver Torres, our highest rated player, is sitting in that cam spot. Ian Nacho's back up front, Rahman stays in. Let's play. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Real Oviedo versus Real Madrid. Come on, the lads. Okay, they've got Thomas Muller, they've got Bale still. Not a lot of other big names in there, though. I'm confident we can do something here. Douglas. Into Iheanacho's feet. Iheanacho, turn. That's a good turn. Iheanacho for Rahman. Rahman down for Sampa. This is good. Sampa. Bang. For Douglas. Douglas is going to whip it in. There's the cross. Iheanacho! Oh, you've got to do better on the header than that, son. Oliver. For Rahman. Rahman. Bang. For Iheanacho. Get there, Iheanacho. Lovely touch. Iheanacho's looking confident. He goes to Douglas. Douglas keeps it. Switch it. Bang. Lovely play. Head it down. Lovely play. Neves. Lovely play, boys. Nacho. Look for Neves. You could be through. I need a better ball than that, Nacho. Uh-oh. Don't like this at all. Don't like... Good save. Great save, Julian. Look at these half-time stats. 57% possession for me. That's how you win on Legendary. I just need to get some shots away. And I might actually win this, but you've got to boss possession. Douglas, great tackle. Here we go, Iheanacho. Bang. Inside to Torres. Torres, hold it. Now look for Iheanacho. Could be goal time. Iheanacho on the left foot. Hit it! Oh, he spilled it, but it wasn't strong enough. Rahman. Sampa. Sampa. Bang. Looking for Oliver Torres. Oh, it's a lovely vision, just not quite fast enough. Tell you what, Sampa and Torres in the middle there, they can play passes like nobody else in the business. Oh no, what a ball. Oh no! Oh my god, what a save! I thought that was that classic legendary moment. He was offside anyway. Can I stick this in? Ruben Neves is the likely candidate to hit it. Here we go, Ruben. Stick it in for me, Ruben. There's the strike. Oh, he's hit the wall. He's hit the bloody wall. And there's the final whistle. Right, okay. The positives are that I found a way to stop conceding goals, but I'm not really scoring them either. The five at the back formation is very compact. I'm doing well. I mean, Real Madrid were playing a B team, basically, there, weren't they? 
If they had the big boys out, I wonder what would have happened. I've got to start scoring more goals. We did have more shots though, and we ended up with almost equal possession. I'm happy with the draw. We need some points though. Let's do some player development. Right, we're training Aguirre at the moment, Torres, Caldara. Yeah, let's do that again. I'm happy to train those boys. Torres approaching that 83 mark now. Okay. Been offered the Belgium job. I'd love to take it, but I've got to concentrate on Oviedo. Got a scouting update. Right, this goalkeeper's got loads of potential. Let's sign this young goalkeeper. Done. The other three, I'm not really interested in. This guy can definitely go away. Okay, next game's against Deportivo. You can see that we're currently sitting in 8th place. Deportivo are down in 18th, so we'd like to get a win here, get some goals more importantly. Oh, Kone is returning to face his former club. This could be emotional. Well, I'm going to give the five at the back formation one last chance. If I can't unlock these guys and score some goals, I'll go more attacking from now on. Ianacho, need some goals from you today, please. Oh no, he's gone through. He's going to score. Oh, damn it! I mean, I've conceded my first goal of the episode against arguably the worst team I've gone up against. It's just terrible defending for me. Erdegaard. Yes, nice. Erdegaard. Bang. In behind for Douglas. Douglas, hit it! Oh, I should have gone in. The keeper, though, but the deflection saved him. Neves. Keep running, Neves. Look for Munir. Munir, do something for me, please, Munir. It's time for you to shine, Munir. Munir, bang. For Neves. Neves is going to get there. He's going to score. Come on. We get our first goal of the episode, and it's Ruben Neves. Who else? Well done, Munir. Thank you. You get an assist, and that's better. If I'd have missed that, I would have been Devo. Munir does well. He cuts inside, looks for that through ball. It gets through, and Neves, bang. Oh, it's a cheeky finish on the left peg. First goal in the league this year. Okay, second half, Sampa's coming on for Erdegaard, who picked up that yellow card. Sampa's, obviously, we know what Sampa can do. Uh oh, he's done me. He's done me. Good save. Okay, it's the 84th minute. We're doing some substitutions. Uh, Barrios and Rahman are going on for Ianacho and Neves, who've probably been our best players, but they're knackered. Sampa, bang. Rahman. What's next, Rahman? Play it inside. Oh, it's almost worked out. Could do. Sampa hits it. Oh, what a chance in the dying embers. And there's the final whistle. It's another draw. At least we scored a goal this time. But we need to get some wins. The draws are actually doing okay for us. We're in the top six, amazingly. We haven't lost the game, but we've only won one of four. Jonathan Villa's got in touch saying he's not happy. Uh, I mean, I'm not happy that you're not happy, Villa, because I love you. And I, I try and play you where possible. You will get games this season, probably more than you did last season. But ultimately, mate, you're not a first team choice. You're not really good enough. We're going to play two more games this episode. We're going to play against Vadalid in the uh, league. And then we're going to play against Rio in the Europa League. Hopefully get a win in both of them if possible. Okay, let's go away against Vadalid. See how we get on. I've decided to abandon the five at the back formation for this game. We're going to go with the 4-3-1-2. Villa is going to start after he asked to. And we've got Oliver Torres behind Ianacho and Rahman. We're dropping uh, Riedervald, giving him a game off. Let's see how we get on with four at the back. Come on. Nacho. Getting forward from left back. Look down the line. Ianacho's onside. Is there anyone to deliver it to? He goes round one. Keep going, Ianacho. Play it into Torres. Torres, bang. Jonathan Villa, he asked for the start. Can you imagine if he scored then in the bloody eighth minute? Into Ianacho. Ianacho, bang. Down to Nacho. They've both got Nacho in their name. They've got a connection. Nacho puts it in. Ianacho with the header. Come on. The Nacho connection is real. We get a goal. We go 1-0 up. For the first time this episode, that's better. Lovely headed goal, lovely cross. Come on, boys. I think Nacho actually ended up crossing it in on his right foot despite being left footed. Let's have a look. He gets, yeah, he did a right footed cross and a bang, bullet header. That's his second goal of the league. Well done, Kalichi. Tell you what, already I do feel like I've got more attacking options now I'm not playing five at the back. I feel a little bit more suspect at the back. Don't feel as safe defensively, but if I'm going to concede goals anyway, I might as well try and score some. Uh oh, let's run straight into my box, boys. We've got to get rid of this, boys! What a header from that show. He's having a great game. Right, Jonathan Villa, run away with it. Bang, lovely. Play it. Lovely football. Villa, bang. Three and Nacho's onside. Ian Nacho could be through for a second goal. It's a great touch. Ian Nacho's got to score. Mate, you've got to score them. Neves with a corner. Can we get a header on that? Bang! Oh my god, it was going in. Oh, the keeper just catches it. We're playing some great football here. Sampa, look over for Ian Nacho. We're running the show. Ian Acho, get it on the left foot. Ref, it's got to be a penalty. Has to be a penalty. Come on. Chance to go 2 0 up. This will be massive. Surprised he didn't get sent off for that, really. Come on, Ian Acho. You've got to put this in for me, mate. You've got to put this in for me. Stick it in. Ian Acho, you're kidding me. He's missed it. He's missed a sitter and he's missed a penalty. We, sh we should be 3 0 up now, really. Oliver Torres, bang. For Sampa, who's through. They've opened themselves up. Sampa's going to score. What is that? Sampa pops it off to Douglas. Douglas, look at that through ball. Here we go. It's Nori. Great first touch. 
Great hit. Rebound. Oh, Norion as a sub almost got himself a late goal there. Early goal with the corner. Can we get ahead on this? Oh, we tried the overhead kick. Get there. Douglas. Hit it. Douglas. Can you imagine? There's the final whistle. We get a win for the first time this episode. But only one goal. We could have definitely scored more, though. Obviously, missing that penalty was a... Was a big one. Nacho gets man of the match. He played an eight. He did very well. In fact, they've even given him praise in the press. Nacho continues to perform. Seems like he was a good signing for me at left back. Okay, next we've got Rio Ave in the uh, Euro League. We got a draw against Aberdeen first time out. A win here at home. I think it's achievable, particularly if we play that same formation again. Forget the five at the back because we created chances there. So I'm using the same formation, but Nori's starting, Erdegaard starting, and Vidavald starting, and Henry's coming at left back to give Nacho a well earned break. Ian Nacho, play it. Oh, play it. Here we go. Neves. Bang, down the line. Do it. Rahman, you got room. Come on, Rahman. Goal time. Cuts inside. Put it on the edge. Bang. To Neves. To Sampa. Wind it. Hit it. That would have been such a good goal. Chambers. Into Erdegaard. Erdegaard. Look for the ball. Win the knockdown. Bang. Great play. Rahman. Hit it. Oh my god. The football's sublime. We just can't put it in the back of the net. Yes. Great tackle for me and that show. It's got to be goal time here, surely. Run at them. Bang. Inside to Nori. Nori. Ref. Nori. Oh. Oi. Iannaccio. Still got it. Shoot. Oh my god. How have we not scored that? I know this script. We've seen this happen time and time again last season. I dominate the game against weak opposition. They're not in it. And then they're just going to go and score. It's just what Legendary is all about. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm trying my best to score, people. It's just not happening. Good defending, Balanta. Come on. Iannaccio. Bang. Play Rahman. Here we go. Got to be goal time, Rahman. You've got to put this in for me, please. Rahman, score. Rahman. Yes. Come on. It was coming, but I did score it. I needed to. We're 1-0 up in the Europa League. That's the second game in a row we've gone 1-0 up. It's much better. I mean, these guys are not good. I feel like I'm playing on, like, professional rather than legendary. It's only the, the difficulty in scoring that's, you know, causing me problems because defensively, these guys are awful. And I am glad, when you, even when you're playing on a good difficulty, when you play against weak opposition, it does become easier, as it should. But it just makes it really hard to score sometimes. But we're getting there. We're getting better, slowly but surely. Yes, Erdegaard. Great tackle. Martin Erdegaard's running. He's going to look for the through ball for Rahman. Rahman's going to get second goal of the game. Should have. Still. Yes. Come on. Gets the rebound. I should have scored the first chance, but I don't care. Rahman gets two goals. We have scored two goals in one game. What's going on? Get in. Erdegaard made that. He dispossessed the opposition. Through ball to Rahman was delightful. And Rahman scored it with a second chance. Good desire to get there on the rebound. Remember, Rahman wouldn't even be playing if Mbolo hadn't got that long-term injury. We signed Mbolo at the start of the year. He played like one time and got injured for like eight or nine months or something. So Rahman's really staking a clay. When Mbolo comes back, we're going to have some decisions to make. That's a long way off yet. Sampa. Sampa into Neves. Neves, hit it. Ruben! Oh my God! We've scored three goals! I don't know what's going on. I mean, that was just a great strike, but... These guys have been awful. Obviously, the game does not rate this team at all because they've been terrible. Like, literally rubbish. But we're scoring goals. We're taking chances. We're, we're playing good football. And I'm enjoying things. Ruben Evers is a star for us. We need to try and buy him poignantly. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. That was close. I think that was their first shot of the game. They're not finished yet. Erdegaard's got the ball. He's going to look to unleash the Rahman. Here is Rahman. Bang. Still got it. He's got away with that. Rahman, spread it, over to Nori, who's going to get a rare goal. Nori, no, he's hit the post. Oh, come on. And there's the final whistle, our best performance in a long time. Against weak opposition, yes, but we still had to score the goals, and we did. Look at that, we only had 42% possession. We had 11 shots, seven on target. They had one shot. I wish I could do that every game, but I just struggle against the better teams. Rahman gets an 8.8 .8 rating, two goals for him, one for Ruben Neves, assists for Nauri, Erdegaard and Sergi Sampa. Well guys, that is where we're going to end today's Real Oviedo episode. Things are looking up. I'm really happy with the, the second half of today's episode. And we didn't actually lose a game as well, even with the draws early on, even Real Madrid. We didn't lose. So we are getting better. We've got a better squad this year. Hopefully we can keep getting some good results under our belt. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. But until then, don't go change it.